In 2022, I've tested what feels like a countless number of shoes and I've logged over 3,000 miles. So when it comes to putting together my dream shoe rotation, these are my favorite shoes of 2022. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kafuzi and I'm just a dude that runs a lot. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about my ultimate rotation from shoes that are my favorites of 2022. Now, before I give you my thoughts on those shoes, I do wanna go over some disclosures. Some of these shoes I bought myself and some of these shoes were sent to me for the purpose of reviews. And I'll put more in the description down below in terms of which shoes got to me in which ways. But regardless of how a shoe gets to me, no one has paid me to make this video or to include the shoes on this list. And no one's gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about my ultimate shoe rotation from shoes of 2022. First, we gotta start with the Daily Trainer. It is the centerpiece, it is the foundation of any good running shoe rotation. And for me, that's gonna be the Nova Blast 3. This is my shoe of the year because I think it's so versatile. It could do pretty much everything and it could do it well. I just have such a fun time running in. I love the squishy pop that you get in this FF Blast Plus. I think it's a fantastic foam. It's been holding up for me really well and I just really enjoy every time that I put it on. I can use it for easy runs, long runs, recovery runs, and even use it to pick up the pace if I need to. And I think that this makes a good centerpiece of a lot of running shoe rotations. All right, now we've talked about what to do on easy days. Now let's talk about on race days. For me, that's going to be another ASIC shoe. That's gonna be the Metaspeed Sky Plus. I've really enjoyed racing in this shoe. I enjoyed the changes that they made to it, giving it more of that wonderful FF turbo racing foam in the areas where I need it most, right here in the forefoot, because I am a forefoot striker, at least at marathon and half marathon speed. They made it a little bit wider and you have a nice landing pad for when you're later in the race. And it's got a very assertive piece of carbon in here as well with a high plate orientation, which is all things that I like and is a recipe for success for me. I was finally able to break three in the marathon in this shoe in June at Grandma's. So there's a little bit of sentimental value in here as well, but this is my ultimate rotation, so I feel like that's okay. This is my favorite carbon plated racer of the year, and it definitely has a spot in my ultimate shoe rotation of shoes of 2022. All right, now if we've done a hard workout in the carbon plated racer, we're gonna need to recover. So let's take a look at my favorite max cushion shoe from this year, and that's gonna be the Fresh Foam More version four. I just love that the way they took a really good shoe in the more version three and they weren't satisfied and they weren't just going to iterate and give it an upper update. Instead, they were going to update the upper and really fix a lot of problems that the more version three had. And they made the foam and the midsole even better. It rides a lot smoother and the foam is lighter, airier, and a little bit more lively, which are things that you don't normally say about the midsole foam of a recovery run max cushion shoe. Overall, I love all the changes that they made to it, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I actually really hope they don't change much for more version five, because more version four is pretty much chef's kiss, a wonderful. It definitely has a spot in my ultimate rotation of shoes of 2022. Now, let's say we do want to have a speed shoe as well. I feel like those are like the four main types of shoes that I want, because I don't always want to do a workout in my carbon plated racer but I still might wanna have some carbon anyway. And so that's where I'd reach for a shoe like the Adidas Prime X. I absolutely love running in this shoe. It doesn't make sense in a lot of ways. It's way too tall at 50 millimeters and it's way too narrow in the heel and in the midfoot. But once you're getting up to speed and running some marathon effort miles, it feels great. It's set it and forget it. And if you're doing that long run on a Sunday, your body's gonna be ready to hit another quality session on Tuesday or Wednesday of the following week because all that Light Strike Pro absorbs a lot of that impact that would otherwise jar the feet, ankles, and knees. 
and you're gonna be ready to keep going. You'll need a lot less recovery time when you're working out in a shoe like this. And I absolutely love running marathon effort miles on my long runs in the Prime X. So these are my favorite shoes of 2022 and put them together, I feel like you have the ultimate rotation of the best shoes of 2022. Let me know what's in your dream rotation from the shoes of 2022. I'd love to hear what has been working for you guys. Or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?